I've been thinking a lot about performance in teams lately. I've been blessed to have lived in baseball heaven, St. Louis, for the past 40 plus years, and I've watched our beloved baseball team be extremely successful. Perhaps you've heard of the Cardinals manager, Mike Matheny. Mike's been a player, a catcher in the majors, and a good deal of that time spent in the Cardinals organization. When handed the reins of the Cardinal team in 2012 after Tony La Russa decided to retire on top, he made it into the postseason his first year. He was handed a world championship team, the critics said. Let's how he, see how he handles next year. Well, next year was postseason in 2013 and postseason in 2014 and postseason in 2015. He's the only manager in baseball history to have taken their team to the postseason his first four consecutive years at the helm. Now let's talk about the team he manages today. Riddled with injuries and superstars out for the season, he's managed his team to 100 wins, the best record in all of baseball in the 2015 season. As I record this, the Cards are locked in an epic battle with the Chicago Cubs for a shot at the National League Championship. This will be old history by the time this gets to post. As the casual fan watched this season unfold, being in this position today seemed pretty out of reach. Ace Adam Wainwright went down in April, gone for the season. Matt Adams, Slugger. Same thing, Jaime Garcia out for eight weeks, John Jay, Matt Belisle, Randall Gritchick on the DL late in the season. Still, the Cardinals found ways to win ball games. They brought minor league talent up from Memphis, and they have all contributed. Names like Pham and Piscotti. How does a manager get everybody A, on the same page, B, enthused, and C, willing to play or sit as the situation demands, all for the sake of the team's outcome. He keeps them present. It's been one game at a time, one inning at a time, one at bat at a time, all season long. As far as new guys coming up to play without any trepidation or fear, it's been next man up. They're down in Memphis just chomping at the bit for a shot at this, and they come up and prove themselves. Their talents blend and contribute effortlessly. The results speak for themselves. Well, that's all well and good for team sports. But what about solo sports like tennis, golf, or running? How does a runner, for example, get all of his voices A, aligned, B, fired up, and C, willing to do what it takes to push through? The ones that say, I can do this, and the ones that say, I can't do this. The ones that say, I want to do this. And the ones that step aside and say, yeah, I really don't want to do this. The ones that say, this or that got in my way. And the ones that say, nothing is getting in my way. The ones that say, I can't take another step. And the ones that say, one foot in front of the other. And who says this is only for sports? Who manages your voices? They're all in there, advising and influencing. Who manages your team? I'm Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.